Hi there, proxies. Welcome to the Zelda Zone Zero version 1.2 special program. Continuing from our last update featuring the demolition case that caused quite a stir, the whereabouts of our main suspect, Pearlman, remain unknown. But there are rumors claiming that he's fled to the outer ring. And so, today's program is also coming to you from the boundless outer ring. Huh? Who am I? Well, I'm the intelligence broker with the hottest gossip on the scene, Mr. Z. <clears throat> As you can see, the vast open reaches of the Outer Ring play host to this update's new story, The Tour the Inferno. Speaking of the Outer Ring, I am sure you have all seen the Sons of Caladon, who operate at the fringes of New Eridu. They own a powerful logistics company by the name of Leaps and Bounds, which can handle deliveries through hollows. Perhaps a few of you proxies have already run into some of their team. Today, we have invited two new friends from the Sons of Caledon to join the program. Let's give a warm welcome to Caesar, the young leader of a legendary biker gang, and Bernice, the master mixologist from the Outer Ring. But, uh, they're still not here. They're late, as expected. Man, I have invested a lot into this program. Bummer. Looks like it's all up to me to tell you about the new content in this version. So, here we are, I guess. Let's get things started. First up is... Is this the place? Hey, where's Mr. Z? Oh, don't tell me he's late. Um, I'm over here. Huh? Are uh, you all good, Mr. Z? Well, you two are a little late, and I don't remember your interest being like that in the script. Hey, our way is much cooler. All right, guess that's why you're the most badass biker gang mean leaders in logistics in the outer ring. Why don't we say hi to the proxies now? Hey there, I'm Caesar. Happy to be on the show today. Hey proxies, I'm Bernice. Today, together with Mr. Z, we're gonna walk you through the new content in version 1.2. <laughs> Thanks for showing up on time, you two. Now, without further ado, let's get started! Alright, all you days 11 rascals! Watching on TV, listening on the radio, and cheering live! Gather around! It's your favorite gal, Jolly Jenny here! 30, 40, or even 50 years ago, a young man performed the miracle with diving into the flames and returning a hero! And in just a few minutes, Introduction. We're the Sons of Caledon. I'm the current boss, Caesar. I won't budge even one step. I'm a Warning, a significant increase in ether concentration near Cinderglow Lake has been detected. <laughs> the weak and the worthless have no place in this age. With the power of ether, I will establish a new order in this leaderless outer ring. A kingdom completely under my control! I'm supposed to be here. Leave it to me! Caesar! That looks incredible! It appears that the wide open wasteland of the Outer Ring actually has an underground side to it. And when it comes to this place, I'm sure you two are the experts. Could you please give the proxies some insight here? Mm-hmm. Leave it to me. The Outer Ring is what people call this underdeveloped zone outside the main urban area of New Eridu. It's farther out than both Janus and Fauna's quarters, and closer to this desert wilderness 
what you don't get to see inside the city. And while it may not be as rich as the big city, it's blessed with a unique local asset. Oil! That's right, this was the fuel resource used during the old civilization. In the Outer Ring, people don't use etheric matter, but instead rely on oil to sustain themselves. While also selling some off to companies in New Eridu. After the old capital fell, folks came out here to start fresh, escape from old memories, and of course, some just want to hide from PubSec. It's not like in the city. The vast outer ring has people peppered around and supplies scattered about. So it's up to the biker gangs to get supplies to the locals. Biker gangs are highly trusted in the outer ring. So they've also got the best intel around. If you want to survive out here, you'll need them. Nice. Sounds to me like they're the ultimate messengers in the outer ring. Of course. And among all the biker gangs, the sons of Caledon are the best around. <laughs> yeah! Wait, we are? Well, nevertheless, your logistics company, Lips and Bounce, has certainly made a name for itself in the outer ring. After all, not everyone can handle the job of transporting supplies through high-risk hollows. Yep. If you want a pro job done, just leave it up to the pros. Yep. And as you might have guessed, we're called a biker gang for a reason. We all ride motorcycles in this version's adventure. Proxies will also get to experience the thrill and joy of riding a motorcycle. Vroom, vroom! Yep, skis! Come race with us in the outer ring! And as the baddest biker gang around, we got loads of members. Our biggest baddie is the young leader of the Sons of Caledon, Caesar. Hey, if we're talking fame, you're clearly the real star here. <laughs> nah, nah, I'm just your average mixologist, running the underground drinks operation. As for what kinds of drinks Bernice sells? Well, we're not really at liberty to say right now. But it's safe to say that her drinks are famous throughout the Outer Ring. <laughs> <sighs> Plus, there's Piper and Lucy, who you've already met. They're members of the gang, too. That's right. Piper is the best truck driver around these parts. And Lucy? She's our top supervisor. Speaking of Lucy, she's always so competitive with Caesar for some reason. If you come to the Outer Ring proxies, you'll probably catch those two squaring off. Well. Here's a friendly tip from a kind gentleman in sunglasses. Don't play referee and try not to get caught in the crossfire. Oh, crossfire? Don't listen to Lighter's nonsense. Speaking of Lighter, you'll be meeting him too. He'll be facing a pretty tough opponent this time around. Now that you mention it, the Sons of Caledon must have some serious competition in the outer ring, right? That's for sure. Even though we're all part of the Motor League, we're not exactly all on the same team. Biker gangs tend to cooperate and compete with each other at the same time out here. Take the Vanquishers, for example. They're our biggest rivals. We sons of Caledon have got a score to settle with them. Oh yeah, time to settle the score. But for the sake of the current overlord, Pompey, now's not the time. Speaking of Pompey, everyone in the Outer Ring's been saying they haven't seen him for a while. And nobody knows what he's been up to. <laughs> One day, he's going to have to give up his position as Overlord. Overlord, huh? Sounds pretty badass. You know it. And it's not the kind of title that just anyone in the Outer Ring can have. The oil industry runs the old oil field out here, and the whole shebang relies on support from the Motor League. The Overlord's the strongest among the biker gangs. As the head of the Motor League, the Overlord wields their power to... Uh, wields their power to... What was it again? Hey, didn't Lucy tell you to memorize all those lines like a thousand times before coming here? <clears throat> Anyways, the Overlord wields the power to designate transport routes as the boss of the Motor League, which is a huge boon. It's like super powerful, like a mixologist with a whole barrel of pure undiluted nitro fuel. Yup, since every biker wants to be the Overlord, we had to find a way to see who's the winner. So we came up with the Cross Hollow Motor Race, the Tour d'Inferno. A race? Sounds like we can expect to see some real cutthroat and underhanded action. What do you mean, cutthroat and underhanded? 
Whoever wins or loses is decided fair and square. I heard there's a famous legend about the Tort Inferno in the Outer Ring. So, I have a feeling things aren't as simple as they sound. Caesar and Bernice put in a ton of work to prepare for the Tort Inferno. And since I am an intelligence broker, I've kept dossiers on you two for quite a while now. Uh, yeah? Let's see what it says about me. Ah, oh, come on, don't leave us hanging! Caesar King, the most badass rider in the outer ring. An s rank physical defense agent, adept at using both sword and shield in combat. When the enemy launches an attack, if Caesar successfully blocks it with her shield, it triggers a perfect block, allowing her to negate the damage and immediately follow up with the next move of a special attack or EX special attack. When she triggers a perfect block, defensive assist or meets other certain requirements, she applies debuffs to surrounding enemies, allowing her squad members to deal more damage to them. Play it right, and it can be a slick way to attack and debuff at the same time. That's correct. When Caesar is in combat, she can protect on-field squad members and boost their anti-interrupt level by providing a shield with her EX special attack, chain attack, and ultimate. When launching her ult, Caesar swings her shield and charges into the battlefield in the Overlord's Grace Dance, dealing damage to enemy. Yep, I might be a defense agent, but that's because it's what I'm best at. I still know how to make the pain rain. That's Caesar for you. She can take a hit and strike back twice as hard. <laughs> Be a leader if you don't protect your team. Absolutely. Now let's take a look at Miss Bernice's files. Miss Bernice is an S rank fire anomaly agent who fights with dual flamethrowers. <laughs> Mixer and Shaker are simply too hot to handle. When in combat, Bernice alternates between her two flamethrowers, Mixer and Shaker, to fire continuously while using her nimble moves to dodge enemy attacks. If needed, Miss Bernice can also concentrate her firepower to unleash blazing hot flames from both flamethrowers in a short burst, dealing massive damage and inflicting fire anomaly buildup. It's worth noting that when Bernice builds up enough heat, she enters the Nitro Fuel Cocktail state. In this state, when a teammate's attack hits an enemy, it triggers Afterburn, dealing an extra instance of fire damage. In battle, Bernice can use her EX special attack to quickly burn enemies while stacking up heat to trigger the Nitro Fuel Cocktail Stick. Even if you switch to another agent, the afterburn effect continues to trigger, steadily accumulating fire anomaly buildup on enemies. When the decibel rating is maxed out, she can unleash her ult, jumping into the air and raining down a storm of flames on her enemies. <laughs> Someone's here to challenge you? I'll help! <laughs> but this is Bernice we're talking about. She's still a force of nature on her own. She sure is. Before she joined the Sons of Caledon, there was a time when Miss Bernice worked alone. Now that I come to think of it, I've always felt like Bernice brings so much energy to everyone around her. Carefree and unrestrained, like she could burn away all your troubles in one go. With her flamethrowers, yeah, she's the perfect friend. <laughs> as long as she never whips you up a meal with Mixer and Shaker. <laughs> if you're feeling down, just have a Bernie special. You will also go on an adventure with Bernice in the Outer Ring, during which you can discover her bright and optimistic side and deepen your friendship. Bernice has also prepared a surprise for you. We'll leave it to you to find out what it is. As for Caesar, she's the kind of person who just naturally oozes leadership vibes. That's right. Caesar's pretty reliable 95% of the time. Whenever there's an argument, she always knows how to get people to come around. Come around? You mean violently? And what about that last 5%? Yeah, if you got fragile stuff that you treasure, like expensive skincare products, you better keep it out of Caesar's reach. No wonder Lucy roasts you every chance she gets. You totally deserve it. And every good roast has to burn! <laughs> Looks like members of the Sons of Caledon get along pretty well. <laughs> of course! But while we're discussing a couple of Sons of Caledon members, let's not forget about our comrade in arms, Red Marcus. Ah, that's right! As a member of the Sons of Caledon, you can find Red Marcus dressed in leather riding a custom bike into battle. When Red Marcus launches his chain attack, it charges at the enemy on a spike, 
steamrolling them and triggering a powerful explosion. Well, we've covered a lot of content already, but now we're finally at my favorite part. In version 1.2, proxies will have a chance to recruit Caesar and Bernice as their agents from the exclusive channels Amber Crown Overlord and Born to Burn. In the first half of this version signal search, proxies will be able to obtain the limited S rank agent Caesar and S rank W agent Tusks of Fury. Both will be available in their respective channels. We look forward to working with you, Faithen. And in the second half, Miss Bernice will be making her appearance in her own signal search. Limited S rank agent Bernice and S rank W engine Flame Maker Shaker await you. Yeah, yeah! Time to show off your power move! Of course! And as mentioned earlier, Red Marcus will also be joining us in the new version. All right! I think it's about time for us to show the redemption code. Proxies, are you ready? Consider it a token of our appreciation. Just don't forget to redeem it before it expires. Apart from the exciting main storyline, there will also be many fun events that you won't want to miss in version 1.2. It all started in a diner in the outer ring. Oh? Isn't this Blazewood? That's right. During the Overlord's Feast event, proxies will take on a commission from the mayor of Blazewood and revamp an old diner. Working as staff, you'll handle everything from serving guests to cooking in the kitchen. While running the diner, proxies will learn a lot of interesting stuff about the Outer Ring, including some fun stories about the agents from the Sons of Caledon. Also, as a reward, proxies will get to contract A-rank agent Lucy. <laughs> now it's your turn, proxies. Brace yourselves for some classic Lady Lucy sass. Next up, a new minigame called Bizarre Brigade will be available at Osha's Arcade. As far as I know, players take on the role of a little traveler in the game and fight off enemies with the friends you meet along the way. That's right. Players can get a variety of random items during the different exploration stages, which will have a huge impact on your fighting style and ability to survive. Ooh, sounds like there'll be something new every time you play the game. It's also worth mentioning that apart from earning polychromes by completing the event, proxies will also be able to unlock more new characters in the minigame. Additionally, in the event Roaming the Aether, proxies will receive a vintage computer terminal from the old civilization that the cunning hair salvaged from Hollow Zero. Nicole reckons there's some super important info stashed inside. Nicole's gifts always keep me on my toes. <laughs> I wonder what that info could be. Yeah, who knows? It will be up to the proxies and fairy to find out. Now, let's switch things up and head back to New Eridu for some fun and casual activities. Psst! There will be hidden puzzles at the newsstand for you to discover. You heard her right, proxies. You'll be able to join the Redo Tours puzzle event at the newsstand and unlock different puzzles which depict some interesting stories about New Eridu. Oh! And you'll also be able to earn polychromes and name cards as rewards for completing the event. Speaking of which, One for One Convenience Store is leading the way in setting up a neighborhood night market, right? Oh yeah. Looks like I'm not the only one with an inside scoop. You know it. Anyway, Shaw will work with proxies to bring this market together. If you manage to complete the tasks, then there will be some fantastic rewards to thank you for helping out. Ooh! Besides this casual event, we have also added a new series of combat commissions in version 1.2. So be sure to check those out if you're interested. Additionally, there will be some new challenges winning a Notorious Hunt and Expert Challenge for proxies to try out in the new version. And that's not all! We also have new drive discs coming in this update, Chaos Jazz and Protopunk. Proxies can obtain them from new stages in Routine Cleanup. To provide proxies with a better experience, version 1.2 will have a limited time event where you can obtain double the drops. So you should be able to get your hands on the materials you need in no time. Don't forget, we've also got other events lined up waiting for you all to discover that are just as cool. I heard 
There'll be some fun new game modes in version 1.2. That's right. A brand new game mode, Investigator Training Course, will become available in version 1.2. This mode offers four different courses where you can get a taste of what it's like to be a Hollow Investigator and learn some basic and practical knowledge about Hollow exploration. Each combat course will offer buffs tailored to different factions, and you will even get to use agents you don't own yet to take on formidable enemies. And there's more! After unlocking the tactical course, you can assign your agents to undergo continuous tactical exercises in simulated hollow environments, earning experience along the way. Yep! Sounds neato burrito! Now, even newly recruited agents can keep up with the team's progress. Meanwhile, there are also some new changes coming to Hollow Zero. We have already lowered the requirements for unlocking Withering Garden in version 1.1. Now, there are no more level requirements. Proxies can unlock it by completing the prerequisite stages. In version 1.2, we're introducing a new Blitz mode to Withering Garden. This mode allows you to dive straight into combat and rack up your weekly investigation points without having to explore the TV board. After each fight, you'll earn a Rizonium surprise box with several Rizonia of the same type. For those who love a challenge, you can choose different modifiers to crank up the difficulty. Just a heads up, you'll earn extra investigation points for doing so, and we have added this feature to exploration mode as well. Naturally, the harder the challenge, the greater the rewards. We hope you all find the experience you're looking for and have a blast! <sighs> I love this update. After the update, Proxies can check in to collect 10 encrypted master tapes and 10 boupons. Awesome! Incredible! I heard Mr. Z's got some exclusive intel up his sleeve about some game optimizations that you proxies have been discussing lately. So, fill us in with all the deets, please, Mr. Z. First, let's take a look at the optimization of the HDD monitor array, commonly known as TV mode. Now, for proxies who have already completed and met certain criteria for commissions that include TV mode gameplay, Fairy will help you retrieve any unclaimed observation data and rewards from previous attempts if you're willing to give her some time. In other words, you only need to explore the board once to collect all the rewards. In addition, we have optimized the TV mode to make everything feel smoother. Some event animations will play faster and you will be able to skip certain parts. We've also adjusted the interactions for some common events, cutting down on the number of close-up scenes. Overall, there are many improvements to the TV board experience in the new version, and you'll definitely notice the difference. Righto! Meanwhile, we're also releasing a backup battery charge function in the new update. That's good news for busy people! Even if you can't log in, you'll still keep building up battery charge! And when you finally have some free time, you can use all that stamina you've collected! Precisely! Next up is a feature I've been looking forward to for quite some time! Mm-hmm! Tell it to my face! We have updated the squat configuration system to let proxies save and use preset squats. You can jump straight into combat with your preset squat right from the deployment interface. On top of that, you can also decide whether or not to bring a bamboo into battle. At the same time, we have also introduced a new feature to quickly switch squats in Shu defense. Ooh, so the experience is getting smoother and smoother! Heck yeah! No need to manually change squads every time! Mm-hmm, I've been looking forward to this update for a while. But I remember last time someone said something about playing as agents inside the city. So, how's that all coming along? In version 1.2, proxies will get to explore new Eridu from the perspective of Caesar and Bernice. But that's not all. You'll also be able to switch freely between Wise and Belle. Choosing for chumps! You really can have it all! And even though it won't be in the upcoming update, by version 1.4, proxies will be able to explore the city freely as any one of your agents. Also, once proxies complete a certain amount of the main storyline, starting from version 1.2, you'll be able to advance the clock as you wish. No longer will proxies have to worry about getting stuck due to time during a quest. And we've got even more ideas up our sleeves that are all coming along nicely. All right, looks like today's special program is coming to a close. But next up we have... Wait, there's more? You betcha! We've got a little surprise for you all at the end. Let's get ready to rock! Time to lose yourselves to these sick beats! 
How is everyone doing? My name is Yi. From Sanzi Studio of Zenless Zone Zero. Rather than me introducing myself, let's all get started and enjoy the music. Yeah? So, proxies, are you ready to enter the hollow? Yo, what's up, Grimbjorn? Show me some energy, okay? Come <laughs> on. 
gas, I will let you gas Bring you a less but a little bit Watch out, spread the dead Cause you can't taste that All the brothers gon' win I'm a handmade man, 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 man You spread the spread, the past and natural Need time, stay king, a tommy bomb Me where you and that song, he alone I'm king, y'all the way to the echelon You can't breathe, till you first time Trace the list, a hint, a list, a chance to dismiss Be a the master, on. Uh. If you use the acid, depend the casting Bring all your whole core wrong to rock on the selling my rocks, so be my gas, I wanna you get
So show me all your energy, okay? One, two, one, two, let's go!